Good day everyone. Today, I will discuss the lesson what I am learned in Integral Calculus Chapter 3. This, this chapter is all about the definite integral. We will say definite integral it is defined to be exactly the limit and summation that we look at in the last section to find the net area between the function and the x-axis. In this chapter, I have learned the difference of definite integral and the indefinite integral and the steps are needed to do how to solve the definite integrals problem. When we say definite, it is a lower limit of integration, such as the integral of f, f, f x dx evaluated by a to b. b here is the upper limit of integration, and a is the lower limit. And when we say indefinite, it doesn't have lower limit of integration, such as the, the integral of f x dx. So let, let's talk about evaluating indefinite integral such as the integral of fx dx evaluated by a to b equals f of b minus f of a a here is the our bound fx is the original function <coughs> when we evaluate integral you're gonna plug in the top and bottom and subtract the two next try to find the antiderivative so you can do the next step <coughs> So the how it works, you, you're gonna take a look at the integral and you're gonna find the antiderivative of this original inside function. For example, the integral of 2x squared minus x dx evaluated by 1 to 4. This, is, this example I'm dealing with the integral 1 to 4 of 2x squared minus x. It, it will become 2x. 2 over 3x squared minus 1 over 2x squared. So write our limit of integration for under. So it will become 2 over 3 <coughs> 4 cubed minus 1 half times 4 squared minus 2 over 3 mi times 1 cubed minus 1 half times 1 squared. This is our top bound, so we use 4. And this is our bottom bound, so we use 1. So it will become 128 over 3 minus 8 minus 2 over 3 minus 1 up. So we will need to distribute. It will become 128 over 3 minus 8 minus 2 over 3 plus 1 up. So it will become like this. 2x squared minus x dx evaluated by 1. 1 to 4 is equal, is equal to 128 over 3 minus 8 minus 2 over 3 plus 1 over 2. So we need this, so we need this, 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 this to simplify this. So it will become 126 over 3 minus 8 plus 2 is equal to 42 minus 8 plus 1 over 2 and equal to 34 plus 1 half and 68 over 2 plus 1 up so it will become 69 over 2 it's up to you you use decimal or fraction so the our final answer here is 69 over 2 or 34.5 so those are lessons I am learned Chapter 2